a former governor of Akwai Bom State, Victor Atta, has doubted the capacity of ex-governor of the state, Senator Godswill Akpabio, to ensure the victory of the APC in the state in 2019. Akpabio, who quit as a, senator, as a Senate minority leader, recently defected from the PDP to the APC. Now, Atta said, quote-unquote, if APC manages to win Akwai Bom today, it would be in spite of rather than because of Akpabio. This is because if you leave it to Akpabio, I really don't believe that APC can go far in Akwai Bom state. This is what I know to be the situation. The ex-governor, who spoke with journalists in Lagos yesterday, said the APC celebrated Akpabio at the national level and that it was a completely different story at the state level. He added, quote unquote, there is a saying in my hometown that if you manage to cook a pot of soup, Cover it properly, because if you allow unworthy creatures like cockroaches, millipedes, to crawl in, they make it sour. This may just happen to be the APC at the state level. As an elder statesman and an objective observer of what is going on in Akwai Bom, there was a time I would have said that Akwai Bom had become <clears throat> at least 80% APC. I wouldn't have been wrong. Atta also stated that there was a time when the whole state was PDP, and there were fights among members, adding, quote-unquote, Suddenly, Akpabio came and many moved to the APC. But today, there are defections as many of them returned to the PDP. The APC in Akwai Bom has to be careful, otherwise they could turn their pot of soup completely sour by certain things that they are doing. This is very interesting information. So at the end of the day, um, Akpabio is the backbone of the APC. And now him having defected now poses such a great risk for their success chances in, P in um, Akwai Bom. Absolutely. And it's very interesting because this constant back and forth between the PDP and the APC should essentially speak way more volumes to citizens than it seems to be doing. And then this now touches on voters' education, because as we can sit here and we can be woke enough about exactly what's going here to know that, you know what, let them do what they want to do. At the end of the day, we just want prosperity and we have the right to get prosperity through our votes. One week left, I'll keep on saying it. However, these people are feeding on the fact that a lot of Nigerians, unfortunately, do not have voters' education. A lot of Nigerians, unfortunately, do not see past the APC and the PDP. A lot of Nigerians, unfortunately, are ready to go with the senator, the governor, the president, whoever has handed them 4,000 naira or 5,000 naira for a vote. Or someone who is um, related to them by religious affiliations or Ethnic. tribal you know, ethnic um, associations. It's so sad, which is why here on Hello Nigeria would actually do our best and our bid to ensure that we keep on preach, preaching the message of voter awareness. If each one would reach one, everyone should take it upon themselves to try and speak to other people, talk to them about the need for them to get their PVCs. We're counting down the days to the deadline for the registration of the PVCs, which is why we would play again the interview with Banky W, where he stressed on the need for us to get our PVCs and why every vote or every PVC that is not gotten is one chance easier for politicians and those at the helm of affairs to rig our elections. Absolutely. But what's extremely interesting, especially with the defection of people in the Senate, is the senators are put in there as lawmakers <clears throat> for their constituency, right? The constituency is the voice of the people. How many people within his own constituency actually came and said, we don't want the APC, sorry, the PDP anymore. We want the APC. A lot of these senators and governors are unfortunately, once again, acting based on self-interest. So if they are doing that, you need to be aware of that and ask yourself, what is the best position that I can put myself in in order to have people that actually not focus on self-interest but understand that they're in public office for a reason? And that interest <clears throat> or reason is my interest and the interest of my people. At the end of the day, we just finished the Idel Kabir celebrations, mm -hmm. and this is exactly the conversation we had about how it is all about sacrifice. And these are the people that actually need to make the sacrifice. We've sacrificed enough. We've sacrificed our peace of mind. We've sacrificed our comfort. We've sacrificed our access to basic amenities that the average Nigerian should have for these people to live the lavish lifestyle that they currently live. Yeah. Now it's time for them to sacrifice a lot of that lavish lifestyle and actually be the people of integrity that they promised us to be. It's such a sad thing, but we'll keep pursuing, we'll keep educating. But you know the funny thing, mm. Leila? There's still some educated people, mm. some people that you would call the elite, mm. that are not going to participate in the election, sadly. I, I, I know that I've heard some educated people say that they do not believe in the outcome of the 2019 elections and they do not believe the Nigeria needs an election. But at the end of the day, like Banky W would say, not getting your PVCs because you don't know who to vote or because you don't, you're not really certain if you want to vote is just a situation where you're giving away your voice because you don't know what you say. And what's interesting is it's proven. 
It's actually proven that formal and informal workers are unfortunately not voting. voting sorry. The top 10 states with the most abandoned PVCs are all in the states that have the most formal and informal workers. And therefore, citizens who are more likely to have some sort of voters' education are not going towards the polls on election day and actually voting for a particular candidate that they believe can take this country to prosperity. So that is us down here. Mostly it showed on the data statistics that it was mostly in the South. So we need to look at this problem. It's another thing of the system being set up against us. Get your PVC. Do not abandon your PVC. Your PVC is your voice. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.